All right, well, just before eight o'clock, the earliest I've gotten out of camp. This is so cool. I'm so happy with myself, but it still needs to be earlier. It took me, uh, let's see, I woke up at 6.30 and um, sort of just laid there for a little bit, got all my clothes and my whatever, and then made a tortilla with uh, peanut butter and a Pop-Tart in it. Yum. And then um, I had to get water and break down camp, so that was an hour and a half which I should be able to break that down way faster. But it was freezing this morning. The, the warmer it is, the faster I'll move. But it was cold. Brr. So, yeah, so I'm in my raincoat because, uh, yeah, you don't want to wear your puffy out here if uh, you are um, hiking because that's going to be your sleep system. So, finally out of camp at a decent time. Um Trail's still really wet, and there's still water falling from everywhere, but we're going to have a non-rainy day today, and this was uh, Ice Spring Shelter, I think, that's what it was, so very cool, um, what else here, so maybe even getting uh sleeping in my tent is probably better more beneficial because then i don't really feel like i have to be quiet with anything and this and that but it's so nice not to have to break down my tent get a little rock scramble here and uh so big day today that's why i tried to had to try to get out of the camp on time i'm hoping i'm going the right way i haven't checked yet <laughs> um but uh yeah um What was I going to say? Um, okay. Oh, yeah. I remember what I was going to say. So, yeah, the biggest day uh, I've got so far, it's going to be um, 21 with the pack on today. And that will make um, 10 miles for my next day to get to Standing Bear. We'll see if I make the full 21. Maybe I'll have like 18 in i might see a campsite and just uh stay there so i don't really push myself too hard but i'm gonna try to make it to the shelter and uh oh cool little birds just flew out of there and i am going the right way so um and the privy was closed so i'm gonna have to i just sort of went off but i'm gonna have to find a spot to uh yeah dig out cat hole that's how we do it up here in the AT. Don't forget to bring your shovel if you're coming out here. Uh, yeah, greeted with all this cool stuff today already. Um, birds are moving around today a little bit more than they were yesterday. So, um, yeah, let's go get it. I'm not really sure what I'm going to get in this video today. Um, it's really windy out and uh, really foggy, so there's really not much scenery going on, obviously. But um, yeah, I like to mention like the section hiker who did come in. He had he did have eight people with him. I don't know if they were all his kids or like they were with a group or what. But um, yeah, he came in and saw that we were in the shelter, and he was like, "Well, I reserved eight spots, and there's only eight spots available in this." So he was trying to kick us all out that night. Where that's not really cool. Oh yeah. Oh there. Yeah, we got some views over here. I have to zoom into it though. That's pretty cool. Got a little clearing down there. But uh Um we quickly reminded him that the shelter did say it held, held at least twelve. It says twelve and then it holds more than that. You just gotta kinda be next to each other. But that's what these section hikers will do. They'll come in and kick you out in the smoky. So just uh, like I mentioned uh, yesterday morning, uh, you know, be friendly, obviously. We were all cool about it. I was cool. I was like the last one to come in in the shelter. So I was, I just grabbed my stuff and got out. I was just like, well, you know, I'm not gonna, I'll be at least 
the first and then whoever was be after me would go and then you know what I mean because whoever came in the shelter first obviously has first dibs as through hikers so um but yeah it's this is no big deal just uh roll with the punches out here uh-oh Charles Bunyan oh wow It's really cool. I really wish. But uh, you know what? That's the cool thing about the, doing these through hikes. You just find these places that... Uh, I'm going to go a little bit. Find these places that you're like, oh, I'm going to bring my kids back here. I think it's something that they can do. Just going uh, to... You know, just a little bit through here maybe. Mm, it's sketchy. Might actually get a view here. Oh, well, it's actually kind of really neat. I'm glad I came up here. The rock formations at least are really cool. Oh, wow. Well. Yo. Wow. Too bad I gotta go back. But... <clears throat> well, I'm glad I came over here now. Oh, cool. Oof. Oof. Oh, and I got some views. Yo, see? I wonder if this wraps back around to, uh, Ooh, that'd be a bad one to fall off of, huh? Should we go up here and see what's up here? Oh, I can't do it with you on me. Yo. I wonder if it circles back around to the AT. It'd be really cool if it did. I actually think it does. So, yeah, well, I'm glad I came over here. I thought it was gonna be all foggy. This is really cool. It's treacherous though, remember. You could fall off at any moment. Yo. It's very cool. Sort of hoping that uh, this does go back to the AT. But it might not. So I might have to turn around. Ooh, straight down. All right, let me check real quick. All right, I checked and it does. This is a blue blaze, so. Um, the true AT hiker would, through hiker would definitely go back and make up that point, whatever, point zero zero two mile that I, uh, that I'm skipping here, but my first real views of the Smoky. This is so cool. Yeah. This is neat too. Just going through this little corridor. <clears throat> but man if it wasn't foggy out right now just think of like how far you could see from up here charles bunyan not disappointed so i'll take you all the way all the way through it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to backtrack just a little bit. <clears throat> so that I can really say that I didn't skip this little baby section here. All right, that looks good enough. So, all right, we're back on the AT. 
I'm glad that I did not miss that. That was really, really neat. So, cool. Oh, I got talking this slow going and uh, missed an overlook for you, but I'll uh, put a picture in for it. That's... See if there's uh, something to look at out here when we get over, you know. Not for sure. Very cool. Why can't we get that sun here? Just need to get a little warm up here. It's trying to peek itself out. Back to it. I think it's like three miles to the shelter. I came up this little hill and then it opens up. Very cool. Wow. This is see forever. Mount top on the mountain tops. Cool. Oh, I thought I was gonna see something. In the clouds. You can kinda see that. He's just moving had a couple ultra runners come through I'm going straight uphill and I, all I hear is a bunch of stomps and uh they just I look up and I have to like they're literally running at me they're maybe 10 feet in front of me they're just not stopping so I have to get off trail get basically bullied off trail these ultra runners because they don't want to stop for somebody going uphill so you know the rule is anybody going uphill has the right of way because we're basically don't have any kind of perception of what's going on it's kind of like right here see like we can kind of see what's going on but we can't really and the people going downhill see the whole downhill you know what I mean so they need to stop and move out of the way and wait for us to come through but I've noticed that on this trail in the Smoky Mountains that nobody really follows that rule it's kind of annoying but once again we're gonna roll with the punches out here at the Smokies it's its own world out here it seems like it's like a fun place to be Nice little overlook. Cool. About a mile from the shelter I'm gonna have breakfast at. Clouds rolling up on us. I for, took my first little tumble here and it was literally just that right there so it was just a little thing just put my foot here and it's just slid straight oh put my foot here and then it just slid straight off Whew. I thought it'd be like a root or something not a man-made thing but yeah I guess I uh, gotta be a little bit careful I'm definitely didn't get hurt thank goodness but uh, it is still chilly out here just got my breakfast in we're about uh 12 miles out of camp oh it is about almost one o'clock it puts me maybe seven or eight getting in there um but biggest mile days to the, with uh my pack on will be uh 21 and a half it'll be quite the Quite the journey today of just trying to get to camp but yeah i figured i'd share the first fall i'm just glad it didn't fall like down there 
Ooh, that would have sucked. If I would have kept going and I had to climb back up or something. Because you probably, you, you could fall down there and climb back up. You'd have to be uh, on all fours to climb back up, but it'd be possible. Like, if I drop my phone down there, I'd definitely go down there and get it. <laughs> like, it's just how it is. Um, yeah. Um, everything's real slippery still out here, but it seems like the rocks are okay. But, oh, I have to put the phone down for that. That thing's probably, what, four feet tall? Doesn't look four feet tall in the video, does it? Nope. All right. Let's try to keep upright. And it's kind of funny. I fell down. And I thought I could just get right back up. But my pack was just like, nope, you're staying right here. Oh, it's so funny. Um, yeah, well, that put me in a better mood. Uh, I was kind of frustrated a little bit ago about some random things. So, all right. You know, you just got to gotta fall and then get back up do it Whew. it is something else today i feel like i'm just walking through this place like a zombie today but uh oh look at all this i'm just gonna kind of jump back over here all right yeah um, horses and stuff come out through here too, so um, you gotta keep it nice and easy for them as well. Uh, excuse me. Whew, one mile to the shelter to get uh, my third breakfast. We'll call it lunch. There's gonna be another oatmeal. Huh. Thought we were gonna come out here and see some views, but looks like a bunch of dead trees. Yeah, oh. it's still chilly. Uh, I did get my gloves off, but I just went up this huge uphill. And is my hat off? Yep, my hat's off. So, yeah. That's what I'm seeing today. Whew, it's a big push. Pretty tired. I'm gonna hopefully this uh this shelter will uh revive me. But just think I would be uh, done today. I could be done today at this shelter, uh, but that would make a um like a 17 mile day for tomorrow. So, or something around there, like 15. But I want a 10 so I can get in there right in the afternoon and uh, hopefully get shuttled into town and get some dinner somewhere, some sort of restaurant. Um, so, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I am... Uh, Gonna get a good meal there, or they have food. I know they have a resupply on hand, so that'd be pretty cool. They got some uh, good food there too, but I would rather have some uh, restaurant food. All right, made a lunch, and we got sun. Like some of the clouds went out. While I was making my lunch, uh, um, the sun came out, yeah, it's pretty sweet. And so I dropped my lighter in uh, my fluid. I had to cold soak my first uh, meal today. And I got here and there were some section hikers and I was kind of talking to them, asking them to borrow one and they just gave me one. So yeah, the trail will provide. So, um, better spirits everything else after that fall too kind of humbled me but man i was kind of like even coming in here so i got eight more miles left it's four o'clock 
it's gonna be uh it's all downhill and then one push big push up to the shelter so i'm hoping to do that in three hours and not get there at eight o'clock i'm hoping about seven seven thirty ish but if if it's eight o'clock it's eight o'clock um i kind of want to if it's if it comes up to seven and i still have some miles left i'll stop and uh, hydrate my food so that when I get to uh, camp, my food will be ready and I can just eat it. The sun came out. We got a viewpoint. It's looking pretty cool. I don't know if you can see it, but there's that range right above there. Pretty neat. All right, we got like seven and a half more miles for the day. The natural spring. Cool. making noises. What's in there? Yeah, I just gotta kind of sneak up on, get in now out of here and then there we go. There's our... Super cool see forever there's a I think I can see Let's see here yeah it's like a I don't know if that's Fontana or not we're definitely far away from there so oh, I'm so happy it warmed up put me in a better mood um yeah. Just having a rough go at the day. 21 mile day. It was, it's tough. 22 maybe even? Oh, they're even so green. Uh, it's, I don't even know if you can see that. A little town over there. All right, we still have uh, like three, four hours more. Hey, there we go. Yeah, the camera can only pick up so much. Just hill after hill after mountain after mountain. Crazy. I gotta get these miles in. All right, coming through here. You know, there's a view somewhere. Yeah. It's so nice out. It just turned out such be a nice day. Too bad it couldn't have been like this all day. I think it knows that I just, I have miles to get. Yeah, see, did it to me again. Come on to a little, some cement things. I wonder what this used to be. Huh, there's like an arrow pointing out here. What? Well, I came out of here, Let's look at this view. I looked to the right here and I think this thing's a bear trap maybe what is this thing way out here no it's not a bear trap i don't know what it is interesting huh it's definitely gnarled up i don't know 
If anybody knows, uh, leave a comment. That'd be cool to know exactly what that's. What's that? Oh, look, there's even like new, 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 new bolts on it too. I don't want to get too close. Maybe there's like a booby trap. With those. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what an odd thing to see up here. It looks like, you know, it's being used for something interesting. Yeah, maybe uh, you guys know. Leave a comment. It's gonna be a pretty good view, but so I kind of tree covered. We're kind of stuck in the strangers here, whatever they are. I don't really think I'm taking a picture of one of these yet. So, oh wow, there's a big rock in there too. So trees really don't have that deep of a root base. It's still alive, too. That's so cool. So they just sort of get ripped up. There's probably usually one little tap root, and that was probably it right there somewhere. But everything else sort of just sprawls out. And then, whoo, you get this kind of, kind of mess. But it kind of looks like it's just going to fill itself back in. I think those guys are going to live. Is look, all, this is all the root. This is all getting sucked down. Yikes, don't stand on it too long. All right, there was a viewpoint. So I thought I would stop here and make my dinner. I got 1.8 to the shelter, boiling my water, and then I'm gonna put it in that bag. And then by the time I get to camp, it will be done and I'll just be able to open it up and start eating as soon as I get to camp. And then I'll set my tent up. So 1.8, we're almost there for the night. It's not too bad, but it is straight. It is kind of straight up from here. 1.8 straight up. No big deal. Look at just, yeah. Very nice. Come down here and check out the it's, uh, ever new. So all of its titanium, even the um, alcohol stove. And then this is just sort of a uh, insulating bag and then I put everything in a Ziploc, so yeah. Oh yeah, and then I was having issues with my lighter. I dropped it in while I was uh, trying to light it. And um, so it got a bunch of alcohol in it and ruined it. And then I was at camp and a bunch of section hikers was like, I was like, oh, can I borrow your lighter? And he's like, hey, you can have this one. I was like, yeah, trail magic on the, on the trail. How good is that? You know, it's what everybody's out here to do is help everybody out, so. And then, uh, oh, it's like literally right after that, this guy pulls out his lighter. He's trying to light his stove. He's got a uh, like an MSR, and they they do a butane, and it wouldn't light. And I was like, I've got a lighter. <laughs> it was great. And so you know, I already paid it forward. It's pretty good. Almost to uh, camp. This poor father just came up to me, and there's he has three. Young boys, well, at least one of them's 13, but oh man, they got turned around on these trails out here, and now we think they're going the wrong direction on the AT. I think they're going south, but they should be going north. Um, hopefully they uh, find a shelter and they can stop there, but um, we're thinking that one of the ridge runners is gonna be up here. They have ridge runners all over up here, so just for situations like this too. 
So um, hopefully there's somebody there for a Ridge Runner and they can um, organize a rescue for these little boys out here. Because uh, I'm sure that they are, as soon as it turns dark, it's going to be scary out here for them. All right. Hoping the best. Throwing some prayers. Here's the shelter. We made it. Whew. It's going to be a tense one when we get in there, though. I wouldn't even know there was a shelter here. Look at these signs. They're just wrecked. <coughs> All right, let's uh, check out this. See if there's any tent sites, huh? I'm gonna go into it like this. Crazy though. Hate steps. Let's see here. Oh, it's got a privy. Hello. Yay. Did you, are they here? Not here. Oh. All right, yeah, we just talked. I'm going. No Ridge Runners here? No, not here. The last Ridge Runner uh, is down. Be I would Let me do that. Yeah, there's my tent. Right off the ridge there. I get a mountaintop view tonight. But, uh. Whew. I got to trek all the way back up there, though. I should put my bag away. All right, everyone. Good night. I really hope that that's a flat spot, too. Yep, good night.